my poem, A Man's Thing. I know a god is a man's thing, strong like a war and fortress like cobble and steel. A king is a god, but a god is a man's thing. A king is a father. I know not of a father who does not think himself a king, but I know a father is not a king. A father is a man, and a god is a man's thing. People tell me a mother is a child's thing. Her arms are a cradle, her hair is a blanket, her fingers are toys for the babe to bend, to explore the joints of bones that are no longer her own. I wonder if once a woman becomes a mother, she's no longer herself, because a mother is a child's thing. A woman is a man's thing. A scar laid on your breastbone from which your rib was taken, a rib to make a woman, you made of God, we made of you, you made from us. There is no God to a woman. A God is a man's thing. Mm. And death is a human thing. When hearts lose their strength to beat, blood oxidizes in open air from crimson to rust. Dust is not the origin of bone, but bone shall return to dust nonetheless. Mm. It is a human thing to die. Gods do not. And yet God is a human thing. Tenderness is a kindness that not all can afford. Building calluses to thicken your skin, building an armor to protect the softness of your organs, but you cannot feel the thick skin on your fingertips. You cannot feel the flower petals with your hands gloved in scars. A god cannot feel without the hands of a man. And man is a tender thing. <laughs>